Hello and welcome to Board Game TV. Today's Fantasy Friday, and we're continuing with our Descent playthrough. I have the board set up, and let's go ahead and do Enduring the Elements. Alright, as you approach the Temple of the Four Storms, you think back to cost briefing on the place. You must find and destroy the Four Storms before Zacharias minions unlock their secrets. Before Gordon's defeat at the hands of the Shadowbinders, his general set out to harness some of the most primal powers in the world. One of the powers, however, most coveted was the power over the elements. After many rituals, his most powerful sorcerers were able to contain these destructive powers into the four storms, artifacts that can control the four elements. After Gwenyman's defeat, we locked the four storms away in a temple which was once guarded by rune warnings, but their power has surely faded and the time has come to destroy them once and for all. Merrick has no doubt discovered the location of the temple by now. If he manages to unlock the power of these stones, he will be able to control the terrifying elementals. He must destroy the four storms. Each of them is tied to a powerful being of primal energy. And if any of them were to be combined, they would create a devastating enemy indeed. Do not let Merrick unlock the stones. Okay, so these little question marks here are the elemental stones. Alright, so what we have to do... We have to destroy three of the stones. We destroy three of the stones, we win. If there are no stones left on the map, the heroes do not destroy three of them. The Overlord wins. Now, Lord Merrick Farrow is set up in this game, but he's not going to be on the board. Just his lieutenant card. Two open groups of monsters. We placed one open group on the ritual chamber. That's the race. Right here. The other open group is not placed on the setup. Each abducted token is a storm stone, and each storm stone is associated with different element and different attribute. We have the okay, so and it tells you what little test things are going to have. Heroes may attack the stones if they were monsters. Each stone has eight health and does not roll any defense. When a hero destroys a stone, place the corner objective token in the hero's play area. At the start of each Overlord turn, he may test one of Lord Merrick Farrell's attributes to, to unlock the associated stone. He's below the temple, attempting to unlock the stones. If he passes a test, flip the token, as unlocked, may be picked up as described later. Each time he fails, place one fatigue token on his card. He receives a plus one to each attribute for two. <laughs> each time he pass, remove all fatigue tokens from his card. Once a stone has been locked, any monster may pick it up as an action. While a monster is carrying a stone, the stone cannot be attacked. If a monster moves off the map through either the entrance or exit while carrying a stone, place it on the overlord's play area. At the beginning of each Overlord turn, he may place one monster from his monster groups on the entrance or exits, and so on. Okay, so there's that. And then we have our new character, and I did Ula Grimstone here. She's an apothecary. <laughs> um, but we're going to give her the Dawn Blade, but she has this Smoking Vials thing, which is actually pretty good. And she can brew elixirs. So now that we've started, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, mm -hmm. uh, we'll probably the closest stone right there we'll try to get to. And uh, I think what we'll do is we'll have Pathfinder here. <clears throat> he will spend his four fatigue. One, two, three, four. There he goes, for fatigue. And right off the bat, try to destroy that stone. A health member, no defense. And he's using his mace, he gets a blue and two green. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see what I'm gonna do. my overlord cards here. Yeah, well, nothing there. Overlord could play to stop that. So he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven right there. No defense for this thing. So he's going to get to attack one more time. And unless he whiffs, he's going to kill this thing. And he didn't whiff. Okay, so this stone has been destroyed. And this was the uh, air stone. Alright, we will take this, and that was just off the first turn there. 
Now let me see what I can do. Let's see, I got three heroes. I may want to split them up. Uh, I didn't put that wrath there, did I? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Uh, I think I'll start with this one. He can use one, two, three, four. He's going to use four of his fatigue. Alright. And what he will do, then he will move. I don't think there's any way he's going to get eight. He's not quite in range. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do with him. We'll go ahead and move him uh, one, two, three, four, five. He's going to be next to the stone. And then he will attack it once as well. Ah, what do I want to attack it with? You know what? I think what I may do is he has the shield. He's going to have the Dawn Blade. And uh, I'll have her have the Staff of Light. Yeah, okay. So, he's going to have the Dawn Blade. Now, the Dawn Blade, remember, gets a blue, a red, and a yellow. So, it gets some massive damage there. Alright, well, that's five, six, two surges, seven, eight, nine. So, okay, right off the bat, this one has been destroyed. So, that's two right there. Okay. Next is our newest member, Old Grimstone. And wow, boy, we've already. <laughs> Man, we just got to destroy one more. Okay. Um... Well, technically, she could. We can go one, two, three, four, five. And then she has a movement of one, two, three, four. I think that's what we're going to do. We'll put her there. And of course, we're going to spend her five fatigue. Alright. Okay. Now, um. Hmm. My other one has five fatigue and four, so. But she has the axe and she can't really. But she does have the magic staff too. So I could try to. Alright, well, she could try one attack on it. We'll try the staff of light. She's one, two, three, four spaces away from it. She's going to get a blue and a yellow. Oh, yeah, that's right. And she gets the star of Kellos, which gives her a green. That's a whiff. Look at that. Okay, so that's not going to work out for her. Alright. And then I want to try to do the same. Uh, this character here. Um, she's going to spend five of her fatigue. And she moves basically the same amount of spaces. And I think what I'm going to do is she's going to use... Well, I don't know. I think I may move her twice. And then maybe, yeah, then maybe she can... I don't know. She has the magic staff. She has the Fortuna's dice. Okay, I think I will, we'll try to wound it. She gets the blue and the red. Wow, that's four damage. Yeah. Six range is plenty. So she does four damage on that thing right there. Okay, so now it is the Overlord's turn. Now let me try to think about what I want to do. All right, uh, let's see. He may test one of his tributes to unlock, unlock the stone. Well, those race. I mean, I, boy. 
Those race, I, they can't move past them. The Overlord got screwed on this setup. Being able to move so quick and destroy those stones, I mean, I, I don't see. I can just try to attack and knock out some heroes, because there's no way. There's a choke point here, so the race can't get past them. Okay, I try to grab one stone here. Okay, they get one stone, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, the Overlord got screwed on this one. All right, um, I'll send, him, okay, I'll, I'll send these two here. All right, um, one and one attack. I'll send this one here to attack. I can put one here, and then I think as the overlord, I got to try to pass that attribute test. And if I can pass that attribute test, he can come and grab this thing and at least try to get off the map with one. And it's the green one. So, all right, let me see if I can pass the attribute test. It's the earth stone. Uh, I have to do his strength. His strength is two. Nah, I pick, <laughs> wouldn't do it. Okay, let me see if we can get a two. He did. All right, so, all right, so he was able, Lord Merrick was able to uh, get that. Uh, all right. And let's see here. I will move him. He can move three spaces. One, two, three. And he's picked up the stone. All right. So that's fine. He's picked up the stone. That's his second. All right. That's his second action. Um, I can play this. Let's see if I give him some more movement points. I can have a hero test to book. And that's four and two, no, four and four, hell no, two and three, possibly two and four. Okay, two and three here. We'll have them rolling test. We'll start with the second one. Passed. Dang it. Three. Passed. Passed that one. Okay, so that, that didn't work out. I can draw one Overlord card, though, since he passed. Okay, well, that's not going to work. All right, so, okay, uh, and then we'll have our attacks. So the main wraith here will attack. Uh, sure, they get blue and red. Uh, two, one, and a surge. These guys get doom. Target is doomed. All right, well, let's see if uh, we get one defense here. Alright, well, alright, two damage, and the target is doomed. Okay. We'll do the other two here. Alright. Oh, I was supposed to roll a yellow die. Let me roll a yellow die so I got one. Okay. That's plus three. Four. There's so actually four more damage. That's a lot of damage, man. That's six right there. Okay. All right. Now blue and red on the blue and yellow on the other two. I don't. Yeah. Okay. Blue and yellow. <clears throat> we'll start with Grimstone here. Um. Well, there's not really much to add. It's just one and two and three. She gets a white defense. Two damage is doomed. And Ravana here. That's three in doom. Alright, this is one damage in doom on that one. Actually, uh, I think I'll play this, add one surge to result. So that's going to be actually two more damage to her. I, I there's nothing more I can do really. Okay, so it's the hero's turn. Let's see what doom happens. Let's see what doom is here. Oh, you know what I also forgot to do? 
is I also forgot to do our uh, expedition. Let's see here. Okay, we'll fix that in just a second. Okay, Doom. Each time you suffer one more, suffer one additional. Each year, tax gains. Discard this token. Okay. That's not a good a, a curse to have. All right. So let's see here. Let's go back. I have to rewind. A second. Get my adventure cards here. See, we're doing enduring the elements, so it's going to be it's going to be a lot of them this time, actually. So let's see here. All right, first one's going to be a river. Uh, the heroes may choose two heroes to, test, to open a chest. Ah, uh, no, we're not going to do that. All right, a little wave here. No event. A little mountain here. Uh, the heroes may force the overlord to play. Okay, well, we're not going to do that. We have the water here. The heroes choose one hero to be terrified at. The heroes first turn, each monster adjacent to that hero is terrified. Okay, well, who's going to be terrified? Somebody has to be terrified. Cannot spin surges. Okay. If there are no enemy figures in line of sight in your turn, discard this card. So he got to discard it. Okay, so that, that's okay. And then we have last one here. And no event. All right, got that out of the way. Now it's the hero's turn. And I think what we'll do is just we'll go ahead and just try to end this right now. Um. Well, let me see. I can do a couple things. Let's do a couple things. One, two, three, four. Search. Alright, now I can see tax, play the tax. No, no, no. He finds a cursed doll. Flip this card to this card. One condition card from yourself or an adjacent hero. Well, that would be nice for the other guy to have. Okay, alright. Let's see here. He can try to attack and get rid of this surge. So we'll go ahead and try to do that. He has the Dawn Blade. Blue, red, yellow. Plus a green. No, 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 no. That's the other guy. Okay, we didn't get a surge. Isn't that terrible? It's three damage. Four damage because of his bonus ability. And so that thing gets to roll a black die. It didn't defend, so it takes four damage. Alright, and he's going to try to attack again. Nope. Okay, got a surge. Okay, so alright. So he can get rid of this Doom card. And it's three, four, five. And he didn't do any defense again. That's nine damage. That's enough to kill this thing. So it's dead. Okay. Grimstone here. <clears throat> alright. She's going to attack with the Staff of Light. How about that? Let's see. Blue, yellow, and she gets the green. If she can get a surge, she can get rid of that Doom card. Oh, man, what a miss. All right, try it again. Okay, well, she got a surge, and she got four, five. So she gets rid of her Doom card. And she destroys this thing right here and it's destroyed now all right so she got that and let's see here um we'll go ahead and do ravana see if she can get a she'll attack one of the race with the axe let's see if she can get a surge on here she cannot on that one that's three it's going to defend the black takes two one damage and then she's gonna try again she got a surge that time that's four all right she defends two she doesn't kill it but she got a surge she gets rid of her doom token and let's see here after the heroes manage to destroy three of the storm stones a deafening crash sounds from below as if lightning had just rent the temple asunder a voice rises from the clamor you fools you release the elder 
The heroes win. Place the remaining objective token by the overlord. This is important. All right, so the overlord is going to get this one, and the heroes win. All right, so I got to set up <clears throat> round two. So I'll do that, and we'll get going. All right, we're back. We got the board set up. There's Lord Merrick right here. Here's some race, and here's the elemental. All right, treading your way through the falling stones and jets of flame, you make your way deeper into the temple. Ahead, you hear the drowning chants of Lord Merrick Pharaoh, and you see the glittering, terrifying form of the elemental lord. You must defeat both the elemental lord and Lord Merrick to thwart the overlord's plans and hope that you do not fall into his clutches in the meanwhile. Okay, however, uh, so we have to defeat the elemental lord and Merrick Pharaoh. However, on this game, the knockout rule is going to be a little different. If you get knocked out, uh, you come down here in this room. And if all four heroes get put in this room, then uh, the Overlord wins. We win if we kill one of the elementals. So we're not going to put a token. If somebody gets knocked out, we're not going to put a token. I'm going to get the fatigue off on uh, these guys because they're kind of meant to get knocked out a little bit or at least have a real good chance of getting knocked out so let's go ahead and start with our heroes here and uh, we'll do the pathfinder here he's gonna move one two he's gonna spend two fatigue to do that and he's got his mace which he's gonna use and it's uh, blue and two green Oh, that's terrible. So he's going to re-roll. Does he have anything to re-roll? He does not. Okay, well that's three, four in a surge, which is five, six. All right, so that Wraith gets a black defense die. Two, so it's going to take four damage. All right, we'll remember that. All right. Rogana here is going to go one, two, three, four fatigue and attack as well with the Dawn Blade, which is blue, red, and yellow. Okay, well that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven on it it rolls three so it's going to be four and that's going to be eight and it's still live so we're going to attack one more time and hopefully kill it and let's see here <clears throat> yeah one two three four five six can't defend it all so it, it's dead all right, so let's see here. Oma will spin. Let's see here. One, two. This thing's right here. Three, four. Just say four fatigue. We're going to play Reflective Ward. When the tagging hero may choose to suffer two fatigue, if he cannot suffer he or he chooses not to, he will be dealt damage equal to the monster. Okay, well, you're going to have to suffer the fatigue. Take a damage there. And then she'll roll. You see, she has a blue, yellow, green, because she has its... Uh, Thing of Kilos. All right, well, it's three, four, and a surge. <clears throat> All right, that's five, six. It gets to roll a black die. All right, so it takes four, and gonna attack again. All right, same. No, actually, a lot more. It's yeah, that, that thing's dead. 
Okay, Ravana here is going to spin uh, some fatigue and just move up three. So let's just spin three fatigue. <clears throat> and she'll attack with the Guardian Axe. There's three. Well, that's not very much. And defends it. All right, well, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so it takes four damage. So it's still going to be alive. All right. And so it's the Overlord's turn. All right, let's see my ring for uh, You may place one monster on the entrance or exit. I'm sorry, no, that's, that's the wrong one. Uh, reinforcements. Monster on his entrance. Okay. So I'll spin one here. Alright, we're going to go here. And um, the Elemental Lord, well, we'll move him a second. Alright, so we're going to have one attack Pathfinder, one attack Ravana. Let's see. Play this card when a monster attacks a hero. Alright, the hero attests is yeah, we'll do Lightfoot. Lightfoot's got a low book. Lightfoot's got a low book. He failed. The attack's gonna gain plus two damage. Alright, so let's see here. He's gonna roll a blue and red. Well, that's four damage, no surges. You got lucky on that. And he blocked one, so he's going to take three damage. Okay. And now the other one's taking light foot. And that's a, that's a whiff. All right. And the elemental lord gets to move four spaces. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so now it's the hero's turn. And we'll have Lightfoot start out again, and he's going to attack that Wraith in front of him. So he gets a, a blue and two green. And it looks like he got four on that. It blocks two, so it's going to take two damage. And he's going to attack again. All right, this time he got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Block four. Oh, that's pretty good. Four damage on him. So, oh yeah, he gets a he gets a plus one because of this ability. So he kills it, and that's fine. And then uh, that's both of his attacks. Now, Rogana is going to attack the Elemental with a Dawn Blade. He's going to get a blue, a red, and a yellow. Alright, so his first attack is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Elemental gets a brown and a black die for defense. Alright, so he takes 4 damage. And then he gets to attack again. Well, that's nowhere near as good. Uh, that's two. That's five. He blocks none of it. All right, so four and five is nine. This thing has ten health. So one more health and it's dead. All right. <clears throat> All right, we'll try... Um, Oma will move one. And then she will attack with her Staff of Light. It's blue, yellow, green. She's going to attack that Wraith. Okay, well that's three, four, five. Blocks three, so it only takes two damage. Alright, and she gets... 
Oh man, I forgot. You know what I forgot to do? No. Nah. I oh man, I did. I forgot each attack targeting monster not adjacent to any other hero gains plus one. So Rogana did kill the elemental. What do you know? Because she would have got plus one on both attacks as an extra two damage. All we needed was one to kill it. Alright, and now um Lightfoot's gonna try to finish off the Wraith with a blue and a red. That's four damage. Blocks it. And then does it again. Okay, well that's five. Six, seven. There's no way. Yeah, not no way. Okay, so it's dead. So it died. And now it's gonna be geez, the overlord's turn. Now the overlord's gonna have a problem. Here he's got one wraith he can put in. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll have it come. Ah, man, it's not really. I guess this this scenario really <clears throat> really hurting these guys. This door is open, by the way. Um, all right, I guess the wraith will attack Pathfinder. I don't. I don't know what else to do. Um, it gets a blue and a yellow. All right, a blue and a red. I'm sorry. Alright, he gets four and a surge. Which is going to be. Damn it, I have the wrong. God dog it. Alright, so he's gonna get doomed if you don't if you don't block you know, he's not gonna be able to block all that. So he's gonna get probably doomed. Well, he blocks, he only takes one damage, but he's going to get doomed. So, he has a doom card. Alright, now it's the hero's turn. And I guess I will start with Pathfinder. And he'll go ahead and go, and he'll try to kill this Wraith. He gets a blue and two green. And if he gets a surge, um, he can get rid of that doom. Okay, well, he got two. He got three surges. He only got two. So he can get rid of the Doom. <clears throat> That's no problem. Two, three, four. Four damage. All right, he takes one. He's going to attack again. All right, he does one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, five and one is six. That's enough to kill this thing. And that's going to be, he'll spend two fatigue. He has two left over he can do. And he'll move up one, two spaces. All right, Rogana's going to go. And uh, she can move five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Grimstone here. Mm. Well, she can move four spaces. What I think I'm going to have her do is search. I'm going to play this. And it's going to cost her to get a uh, fatigue, which is going to hurt her, though, for doing that. But, you know, we could use the money and some stuff. We get a health potion. Well, that's good. Okay, that's one turn and then... One, two, three, four. Okay. <clears throat> and then Ravano. She'll spend two fatigue. One, two. Alright. And then she'll come up and she will move her four spaces here. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. She's right there. Okay, so it's the Overlord's turn. Alright, alright, let's see here what I can do. Well, I can put a Wraith here. I know that. And it's going to move and attack Pathfinder. So let's let's start with that first. And it's going to get, you know, it's blue and yellow. Alright, I got four and a Surge, which is Doom again. He took three damage. 
and he's doomed. <clears throat> okay, and that's it for that. Uh, let's see here. I think what I'll have, he can get two movement points. If, he can, if Pharaoh can get two movement points, to he don't need it though. No, he does not. He, yeah, he doesn't have a ranged attack. Yeah, he does have a ranged attack. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to play blinding speed. I'm going to choose Organa to try to pass these two tests. Why right, pass that one. Failed the second one. All right, so I do gain two movement points. So I'm going to go ahead and move him one, two. <clears throat> and then I think what I'll do is I will... Uh, do a ranged attack here at Ravana and he gets a blue, a red, and a yellow. Alright, so we have uh, that's four and a surge and I see he gets the first surge is a wither. The target suffers one fatigue. Okay. Alright, so that's four damage. He can roll his defense die. He has the shield. Okay, I can re-roll. And it's going to be the same. So I'm going to take three. He's going to take three damage. Alright. And he's going to suffer fatigue, which is going to cause him to take another damage. So he's actually one health away from <coughs> dying. Okay, so it's the hero's turn, and Pathfinder will sit here and, I guess, try to kill that wraith. And these wraiths are just going to just cause little problems. Alright, he gets one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, and then let's see. One, two, three, four. <laughs> he's going to kill it. Even though that thing rolled four. See, three. All I needed was three. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he, all right, so he killed it. All right, so that's his turn. All right, Organa uh, is going to move forward two spaces. Uh, we can't spend any fatigue to do so, but that's fine. And she's going to try to attack with the Dawn Blade. She gets the red, black, and yellow. Red, uh, red, blue, and yellow. Okay, well, that's not a very good roll. That's only three, six damage. Seven because of her special ability. Okay. And, all right, so she's going to get to roll the black and white for defense. Okay, this is four damage on Merrick. That's that one's turn. Okay, Uma, Uma, Oma, blah. It's going to move one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's all she can do. <clears throat> all right, Ravana. Uh, she can move. One, two, she has an axe, three. Okay, she gets to attack with a red and black. Okay, that's four damage. And he can try to block that. He only blocks two. So he takes two more damage. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, one, he has. 15 health. Okay, what's the Overlord's turn? Alright. Again with the Wraith. Coming here. On him. Alright. And it's going to attack. With a blue and yellow. Okay, it's two damage. 
And he blocked both. So that's that's it. Okay, Merrick here. Uh, this attack gains four additional attack areas at one additional green power. We're going to play Flurry. So he's going to get two attacks. Now he's going to try to knock out Rogana real quick because Rogana is the biggest threat to him. So he's going to roll the blue, red, yellow. Oh man, look at that. I used Flurry. Okay, so that's one miss. <clears throat> All right. I do get to add a green power die. <coughs> oh no, that was on that one, but I would have missed. Okay. All right, that looks like that's going to be a knockout. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Okay, so Rogana is knocked out and put in this room. That's fine. All right. That, that kind of, I guess, was kind of a waste of flurry. All right, so it's the hero's turn, and um, little Pathfinder is going to try to kill again. Uh, this wraith. Okay, well he does one, two, three, four, five, six. Now this thing doesn't defend; he can finally kill it. Uh, well, no. Okay, that's four. That's one, two, three, four, five. Three, all right, well, he, still, he kills it, but he's stuck there. He can't move. Okay. Uh. All right, Rogana is out, so we just put her here. So Ula is going to go, and she's attacking with the Staff of Light. All right, and she gets a blue and a yellow, plus an additional green power. All right, so that's one, two, ah, terrible roll, three, four, and she can recover a health. All right, it's four damage. It's not very much. And he takes two. Okay. And going to attack again. Okay, that's a whiff. Okay, <clears throat> so next is Ravana. Ravenna's going to attack. Blue and a red. Well, that's two damage, so that was terrible. It blocked it. Attacks again, three damage. And he didn't block any of that. So he's going to take three damage. That was unfortunate. Okay, so that's ten health at eleven. All right. So now it's the Overlord's turn again with the Wraith. We're going to come over here and just stop him from moving. Let me grab an Overlord card. Uh, grease trap. That's not going to be do good. Okay, so we're going to have the Wrath attack. <clears throat> uh, blue and yellow. It gets four. It takes blocks three. I mean, it takes three. However, and he is doomed. It's one, two, three, <clears throat> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has his armor, two more health. So if he takes two more damage, he's knocked out. So we gotta be he's gotta be careful on that. Because all I gotta do is knock everybody out. Okay, so Merrick's gonna go. Yeah, who's Merrick's gonna attack? Ula or well, I guess he'll attack Ula. Um, can I play? See, see, he can't. There's no, I don't have any good cards. That's the problem. Uh, all right, well, I guess he'll just attack a blue, red, yellow. I'll attack Ula. All right, well, that's four damage and a wither. So let's see what her defense can be. All right, she's going to take three damage. And a wither, which is going to cost her four damage because she doesn't have any fatigue to spin. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, two more damage on her. She's she's out. But now it's the hero's turn. So Pathfinder is going to go, and he's going to try to kill this guy one shot. He hasn't been having any luck doing that. We're going to play uncontrolled power. He's got to have to test his 
thing there. Let's see if he gets it. Oh, yeah, he, he passed. Dang. All right, that was probably my last good shot. Right. Okay, so he gets one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, this thing defends. Yep, four. So he's going to have to attack again. And he whiffs that. Okay, well, that's, all right, that's not good on him. Okay, Ula's attacking. She's got the Staff of Light. He gets blue, yellow, and, of course, the green because of the Kello Star. All right, it's one, two, three, four, five. God, he couldn't defend but four of that. Okay, that's going to knock him out. That actually knocks him out. Um... Uh, Alright, this is only a minor setback, you know, says a hollow voice. It takes you a moment to find the source, a shimmering specter of Lord Merrick. Death isn't the end, not for me. I'll, the rest is lost in a howl of wind and deep groaning of the earth. Perhaps this temple isn't as stable as you might want. Time to go. Alright. Well, the Overlord didn't win, so he doesn't get any of his element stuff. Everybody's going to get 1 XP, and we get 25 gold per hero. So, what it looks like is we did find the Cursed Stall, and we found a health potion. So, that's 75, 100, 175 gold. Do I have any left over from the last thing? I... Do not. Okay, so I have 175 gold. <clears throat> Alright, they're going to have four experience. The Overlord's going to have three experience. Because he didn't win. Alright, so let's get some at cards here. Let's see here. I get four. Let me see what I can have for 175 gold. Staff of Kellos. Wow, look at that. That looks good. Runebound Shield. Well, that's 200. Ironbound Glaive. Okay. Whoa. All right. That's two range. Plus two damage. Burn. Uh. Shadow Tone. Huh. Well, I think I am going to I don't know, man. That's that's seven. I do roll a lot of surges. I think I'm going to take the ironbound glaive. And I think I'm going to give that <clears throat> to <clears throat> well, hold on. I'm gonna start selling some of this stuff. Okay, I think this is what is gonna happen. That's uh <clears throat> we're gonna buy this for 175, but we're gonna sell these. And that's going to be three, three twenty-five. I'm going to give her the room bound glaive, <clears throat> and then I'm also going to give her. She has a trinket. She. I'm going to spend seventy-five. It's going to be three twenty-five. Yeah, I'm going to spend the shadow tome. I'm going to give this one a trinket. And then, I'm going to buy the um, Staff of Kellos. It's going to be 250 That's going to leave me with 75 gold. And I'm going to give it <clears throat> to, the, to Ula. Ula, yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, and that leaves them with <clears throat> 75 gold left over. 
So I'll write that down. 75 gold. And they have four experience points, of course. And they won Enduring the Elements. Next one they'll be doing is the Blood of Heroes. Okay, so the Heroes won. Um, I think this thing was really skewed towards the Heroes, man. It was really easy, especially that first mission. So, I don't know. Maybe I just played it bad as the Overlord. Well, whatever happens, I hope you enjoyed it. And, of course, nobody... Technically, because, because of the special set of rules, Rogana would have been taken out of our campaign. But because, like I said, they're supposed to kind of get knocked out and put back in here, captured by him, uh, we, we ignored that rule. So she got a free pass for today. So we didn't lose any characters this time. So <clears throat> let's see here. The heroes won the first one. They won the second one. They've won this third one. So the Overlord is not going to be able to catch up. Um, I mean, that's, you know, that's one, two, three. Yeah, they can tie it. Maybe. Oh, that's right, the Overlord <coughs> route, yeah. No, they can tie it maybe and see, but <clears throat> the Overlord's going to have to come back pretty good for this one. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Until then, have fun.